All right, guys, welcome back to Ralph's house. We're covering our field here. We're moving on. Stay with us. We're going to see what we can do here. I need something to put a wet brush on right here, Mike, without putting on your chair. All right. The, uh, about two brushes in my hand. Well, check this out. Whoa, that's a tough, tough brush. That's a double whammy. Man, it's almost like live wrestling. There you go. For all you live wrestling fans up there. Check that out. Oh, we did. That covered some territory, didn't it? Anyway, that's playing. But you know what? That's what we do. That's the fun part of what we do. We don't take it real serious. We have fun. There's enough people to take it too serious. We're, we're just having a good time out here. I put some ultramarine blue in with this. So I'm catching this. It gets more dark in here. Again, I'm pushing my grass strokes up. Well, this is where that shadow has been cast by a tree right up here on this hillside, right up here in this corner. It's kind of rolling down that way. The darkest part was right down here in this taller. Let's get some of that in there. Heel just kind of pushed over there. More that, especially around this implement that's sitting here. That was a disc here. That's what they used to kind of till this ground pretty smooth out there. It was sitting out there. We won't get it in the picture. We wanted that in there. This is something to kind of fill this foreground, give us some interest there. Just more paint up here on this hillside. That's just kind of a dry brush. Yeah, I'm just kind of getting paint on there. But I want to frame this picture kind of into the, bring it in. So I'll get some more dark. Oh, I'll grab some light. Well, we got it. We're going to guess where it's going. On the canvas. When you wear trifocals, accidents can happen. But you know what? It will work out anyway. But then, we need that light kind of right Move the paint in the paint. Didn't really mean to grab that, but guess what? We'll use it anyway. Now let's get back some of that ultramarine blue, some of that green that was there. Give me just a little. Yeah, that's still, I've got a little bit of that uh, white still in my brush. Let's grab some more of this darker green. Oh, yeah, there we go. Grass strokes, grass strokes, keep your grass strokes. Dark in the little holler. You're gonna see why we're keeping it dark right down here in this holler a little bit because we won't we throw them yellow leaf flowers that were in there. This is springtime. This is April. What day we did, Michael? About April 17th, something like that. So we're in the middle of April, and uh, dogwoods are in bloom. And it's just a pretty time to be outside. You're sitting there saying the weather's comfortable. And, uh, I think if we hadn't got into the uh, just that direct sunlight, our paint would have done better sitting outside. And while I've got some of this dark green, it's kind of mixing these colors together here. Carry some of this into the trees. This was a big oak tree right here. And right now I just want to get the kind of a shape of it, kind of the way an oak tree would kind of blossom, fill out here. It kind of came down like this. More trees back here in the background, I'll kind of roll that a little bit. It's a dry brush, just make your trees see. That roof, we're going to lighten up a little bit. That'll have a, like a metal roof on it. So we've got to get that greenery back under that roof too. You want to where you're looking under it. It was a shed, it's not a barn, so you see all the way through it. We need some of that in there. We had some more greenery over here. Yeah, let's keep it dark right here and kind of pull things to the middle. Now we're going to have our silo there. Just a dry brush, just roll that paper, just roll the little puff balls on there. Let's cut it. Dark right there at the base because that's where the darkest was. We had some beehives out there and I love these beehives. They were just a good contrast of things sitting over here. And uh, so we're going to make sure we get them into the picture. Cut them down a little bit. I had them drawn in too big, but I didn't want to forget them. I didn't want to know they weren't there. But he had beehives about every 100 yards. He'd have some beehives sitting out there. 
He liked his beehives. He said, oh, you can paint all you want, just don't disturb the bees. So he liked his beehives too. <laughs> and we're just playing with the paint that we have left on our canvas. We don't waste paint around here. We'll do different colors, different things. We're going to apply paint on top of paint before we get done. So we're just, let's get that heel side up here. Some of that white in here in this kitchen. Where the top of that hillside is right there. I'm going to bring that down a little bit. Well, the sun will be hitting up there on that hillside a little bit. Come right along here, up by the beehives and on out of the picture. I don't bring you strokes the way the ground's growing there. Get some of that color up here. Pushing that other paint. So we've got that paint built up in this corner, so I'm going to push that paint up into it. Show me some of these strokes here. Okay, there. So you're going to put it on and move it where you want it. Some of this over here, carried into some of this. So it's all the different colors that we're going to build the layers of those woods going back into there. Like you're running back into the woods, but you can, just the only ones that are going to be lighter are the ones that are basically in the foreground. And they're getting, as you go back, you're kind of losing them back there. Dark at the base. Okay. We're playing. This one a little bit darker over here. All right. I tell you what we need to do. We're gonna move on up to the sky. I got all this white paint right here, and I hate to waste white, so I'm gonna load this up and grab a bunch of this. Let's get this canvas covered. We're just trying to get it done real quick. I'm going to cut into the trees and stuff. The rest of it will paint all the way up. We're coming back down. We'll cut some trees back into it. Those trees will still be there. I still got some of that green color in my brush, but that's going to work. By the time we're done, we'll have that take care of. We'll make it a sky by the time we're done. Mm -hmm. It's just fun to do. Now, anybody that's been to our website knows now, he sings. Now, I don't know how he sings like that. And then he fesses me, I don't know how you do that. But I sure can't sing. And he's heard me sing, so he said, Don't sing on the videos, please. And that's my dear brother telling me not to sing. I hope y'all can tell we have a good time, we have a lot of fun, and we enjoy what we're doing here. And we hope somebody's gonna see something like this and, and do it. That's why I love getting those pictures, because somebody's doing this. I tell you what, we're getting work on this. Those actually will be a lot of fun, y'all come. <laughs>